any day the sun comes up, you can choose to change your life. You can choose to reinvent yourself. You can choose to leave a version of yourself behind and step into a new one. You can do that. Nothing's stopping you. There is nothing stopping you from reinventing yourself on a moment's notice. There's nothing stopping you except for you. Except for you being being unwilling to do it. Being unwilling to accept the possibility that you can do it, that you can start fresh, that you can redeem yourself, that you can reinvent yourself. Lots of the people that I'm talking to on a daily basis are mechanics and people that work construction, people that work in transportation, recycling, trash. And I've run into quite a few of them, quite a few of these people that have friends or have coworkers that have basically just got up and left. You know, mechanics that were making $28,000 a year at you know a certain location getting up and leaving and not coming back and leaving whatever was there behind including their co-workers that are probably never going to leave and what i've noticed from these people it's like they know the people that are friends of these guys who are just leaving and, and starting over or whatever they know that they themselves could, could do the exact same thing if they wanted to bad enough if they needed to they could choose to stop what they're doing, get up and start a, start a new life and, sh- and just start over, reinvent themselves. But they don't because the only thing that they have said really consistently is that, you know, their friends, their coworkers have some big balls that it takes a lot of courage to do that stuff. To, if you don't have, you know, any stability, any money, any whatever, any plan that, you know, that that's a scary thing to do. It takes courage. It takes balls. And of course, there are other factors such as like people having families, people having kids, whatever. Obviously, at that point, once you're stuck in a certain place, it's hard to get out. But most people aren't stuck. Most people don't have ties to a to one single location. They can't, they're not stuck in a place where they literally cannot leave. But the point still stands. The point is that every single day you wake up, every single day the sun comes up, you have an opportunity to do something new, to be someone new to maybe just become a new version of yourself to to start a new version of your life you don't have to completely throw everything away and you know completely start over from from scratch but you can choose to rebrand to pivot to move off course nobody's nobody's making you stick onto one certain path forever until you die nobody is except for yourself if you choose to do that Everybody's going somewhere. Everybody's in their own lane, trying to run their own race at their own speed. You know, some people are on on bikes. Some people are swimming. Some people are running. Some people are walking. Everybody's doing something different. And even though it seems like everyone's heading in the same direction, and there are people that are further ahead, people that are behind, people that are maybe, you know, (laughs) running off the track, everybody's just trying to figure, find their own way. Everyone's just trying to figure stuff out for themselves. And... I just don't think people really realize, first of all, how easy or how simple it is. I don't know if it's easy, but it is simple to change course, to veer off the path, to make a decision that can completely change the rest of your life. And people people just don't want to make them because of fear, because it's scary, because shifting away from what you have known your entire life is scary. You get so stuck on one way of doing things, of one single path, that you will walk down that path, you will ram down that path until you can't anymore. And if there is something or somebody telling you to stop, or there's an obstacle in the way, or something happens to where you physically cannot go down that path anymore, you have to be able to pivot. It might not, it's not going to be a linear thing. It's not going to be a straight line. There are going to be days where you might have to come back a little bit and then go forward. You might have to go left. You might have to, you're going to have to zig and zag. Either way, there's nothing that will ever stop you from going where you need to go, from doing the things that you have to do. There's no, but there's nothing that can stop you. Nothing that can stop me. I don't even really think about what I want to do every single day. I always think about the things that I have to do right? I have to, and when I say have to, I mean, like, 
deep within my core, like in my spirit, the things that I just have to do that I just feel obligated to do, not from anybody else, but from myself. They're not, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's something that I just, if I don't do it, then I, it, it doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. If I don't train, if I don't give it my all in the gym or in the, in the ring, wherever, then I don't feel right. I feel like I'm wasting potential. If I don't make videos, if I don't, you know, do the stuff like this, I feel like I'm wasting potential. And these things that I was just talking about, you know, training, working, making videos, these are all outlets. These are all pressure release valves that I have. And I feel like everybody needs, you need different ways to release pressure. Cause if you don't, you have all this energy built up within you. You have your physical energy, your mental energy, your spiritual energy. And if you never have anywhere to put it, you never have anywhere to channel it. It's just going to keep building up and building up and building up inside of you until one day you just explode and you lose it. And people live like this all the time. They are constantly fighting with themselves, constantly wondering, you know, why they don't, they're not happy with their lives or why they can't seem to figure it out. But they're never actually like trying anything. They're never actually willing to, to make a potentially radical change to make a decision that could actually benefit them. People are scared to do that. People know, everybody knows now that even the people that were talking to me about how their friends, their coworkers got up and left and moved to somewhere else, they know that the only difference between them and the person who got up and left and started and started over, the only difference is one of them is willing to do it. They were they were willing to to risk whatever. They were they were willing to look like an idiot. And the other wasn't. They they were not willing to, you know, be courageous. They were not willing to look like an idiot. And so they stay exactly where they are, probably until they croak, until they're not able to go any longer. It just became more and more clear. People are aware of the possibility that they could change their life, that they can completely, you know, head a different direction, but they just don't want to. They're unwilling to. They'll make up every excuse in the entire world why they can't do it or why it's dumb or why they should just stay where they are. And for like those people, you cannot save, you can't change. No matter what you say to them, no matter what reasons you give them for why they should or why they could, they won't listen. And it's not a good use of time to try and convince them. It's also impossible to convince somebody like this that even if they don't want to move or don't have to move across the country or anything like that, that they can still wake up one day and choose to live a better life. They can choose to start a new career. They can choose to start a new hobby. They can choose to do anything. But like we can do whatever we want. Like I, I don't. I wish people. I wish people we're able to really internalize that. Like there is nothing stopping you from doing what you want except for yourself. And there, of course, there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be things in the way that might present a problem that might make it a little bit harder, but that's what we fight for. That's what we live for. And I, even if you don't know exactly what it is that you want to be doing all the time, you might as well just try and figure it out. Cause if you're not happy with what you're doing right now, then anything is better than that. Anything any lifestyle would be better than the one you're living now if it's that bad enough, if it's that painful enough, which hopefully it's not. You figure out, or at least you try and figure out what you would rather be doing. If money wasn't a problem, how would you be living every single day? What would you do? Like, be extremely specific. Like, wh when would you wake up? Like, what, what would you be doing? Who would you talk to? Where would you go? And I know everybody in, at some point in some place in their mind has an idea of what that looks like. They, you have an idea of what your perfect lifestyle would look like. So what else is there to do besides work towards that and make that happen? Because it maybe it, yeah, you probably can't do it. You probably can't have that lifestyle in one day, but you can start in one day. You can choose one in one day, in less than one day, to take the first step towards doing it. You can choose to, to, and you can do that anytime you want. There's nothing stopping you. And who knows? Who knows how long it might take? If you if you start taking the steps right now, if you start moving there now, not tomorrow, now, what if it takes 
like a shorter amount of time than you think. You think it might take like three years? What if it takes one? You, how do you know? You don't know. Even though that, even though I haven't reached my dream lifestyle yet, I have taken this, those first steps, and I know that every single day I take a step forward, or at least I try. Some days I might step on my heel. Some days I might fall backwards. Some days I might, you know, veer off the path. But I know every single day that I at least make an effort to move forward. That I am just, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer, and. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know where I'm even going, really. I don't know what is at the end because there is no end. But all I know is that I have things that I need to do that I know I need to do every single day to move the needle forward, even if it's just a tiny, you know, 0.5% improvement. That's all I can ask for. That's all you can ask for. And I don't, I think the power of just consistently showing up, consistently trying to move forward, even though nothing in life is linear everything is zigzag sporadic exponential that's how life really works nothing is a straight line nothing except for lines <laughs> but nothing that actually matters really is a straight line nothing is perfect like that now there's no straight path to anything it's all going to be it's all going to be up and down it's all going to be rough there's always going to be things that throw you in for a loop. And I think that if you just come to terms with the fact that you know what lifestyle you want to be living, the one you're living right now is not that. You know that there's a few things at least that you can do right now to start moving towards the one you want. But what? so what's what's stopping you? That's all I have to ask. That's all I want to ask because I was asking myself the same exact question. I was like, what am I doing right now? Like, I'm, 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 I feel stuck. I feel like there are things that I need to be doing that I'm not doing. Why am I not doing them? Is this lifestyle good enough for me? Like, is this how I want to be living for, for the rest of my life? Because if it's not, then I have to do something to change it. And I'm not saying my lifestyle is bad or anything, but could it be, be, could it be better? Is it my dream lifestyle? No. So... Why not work towards it? What else is there to do? What else is there to do besides work towards what you want? Besides try and prove everybody, including yourself, wrong. Try and go beyond what everyone else thinks you should be. What you could, like, go beyond what you think you could be. Why not push your limits like that? Why not? Like, what do you have to lose? Nothing. What do you have to gain? Everything. You can only lose so much. You can only lose a certain amount of things. You can only lose a certain amount of money. You can you can gain up till infinity. There's no limit on what you can achieve. Or that's what pe that's what people mean when they say there's no limit on what you can achieve. There's not. Of course, there is a a cap that humans have put on themselves. But gaining you can you can gain however much you want. There's no cap. You can only lose so much. You can only have. You know, if you have $100, you can only lose $100. You can gain, you can earn a million. What's the, what's, so if you're, if you're having to choose between, oh, what if I lose and what if I win? Isn't the thing, isn't it obvious? Like, I just want people to realize that, that every single day is a new beginning. Every single day that you wake up, you have an opportunity to move forward, to change your life. One decision, one person one opportunity that you seize can change the entire course of your life. And if you're not putting yourself in a position to accept those opportunities, to meet those people, to make those decisions, then you're setting yourself up for failure. You're not doing yourself any favors at all. You could be doing yourself so much more if you chose to pursue exactly what it, what it is that you want and put yourself in the, in the position to receive it. I don't really care how long it might take. I don't, it doesn't matter. But the, the fact is that there is nothing better to do than pursue it. That's it. There's nothing better to do. There's nothing more to do than pursue what it is that you want and what it is that you feel like you have to have. Because if you have to have it, you will have it. If you, if you need it, if it's something that you just cannot live without, if there's something out there that you have to do that 
every single day you wake up, it is burning a hole in your brain. You have to do it. Then what else is there to do besides do it and work towards it and eventually have it for yourself? Because the only reason that you desire things, the only reason that you desire things is because the source within you, the spiritual, whatever you want to call it within you is telling you that you already have it. It's already there for you. It's already been created. And all that's left is for you to take the steps that you know you need to take in order to get it. Even if you don't have a clear, exact, vivid vision of what it is, move towards it, work towards it, do the things that you have to do because you have to do them. That's why, I mean, that's why you don't listen to the things that you want to do. It's always the things that you have to do. That's where it is. That's where the magic's at. Because if you have to do it, if you have to have it, you will. So you can change your life in one day. You can. It's all up to you to make the decision. It's not up to me. It's not up to your mom, not your dad, not your sister, not your friends. It's up to you. Wherever you are right now, it is up to you whether you stay there or you go somewhere else. Or you, I don't know. <laughs>